G'day everyone, Lucas here from the Aussie Gamers Experience and today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Edifier bookshelf speakers, the S3000 Pro. Alright, so uh, let's get straight into it. Let's, uh, let's get it open and have a look at what we're dealing with here. Now the uh, S3000 Pro is obviously the uh, successor to the S2000 Pro and these things have got bigger subwoofers, clearer speakers, they also have Bluetooth 5.0. All right, so getting into the top layer here, we have all of our cables. Oh, and a remote control. Right, let's put this knife away so I don't cut myself. Okay. All right, we've got a oh, fairly standard figure eight power cable there. Put that aside. What's this one here? Is a second figure eight power cable, obviously to power both speakers. These are wireless speakers, so you're gonna need to plug in both speakers separately. Kind of making them not wireless, I guess. All right, so the next one we have here is a USB cable. So that one there, you would obviously plug into, say a computer or something like that, if you wanna use uh, a USB connection for it. And these one here, they look like RCA cables. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, they are. They're left and right RCA cables. Oh, there's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack one in there as well. It's a good thing about Edifier speakers. Every time that I've done an unboxing, I've done quite a few of these Edifier unboxings. They seem to always come with all of the connections you need to connect to their, to their speakers, which is really cool. All right, next in the box is, what's this, like a warranty? No, an instruction manual. Oh, and a warranty booklet, okay. And this one here, last one in the top here is the, uh, the fiber optic cable there, which is uh, pretty much used for really good surround sound. Most devices like the Xbox, PlayStation 4, all of that sort of stuff have uh, an optical out, which is what this is for, the fiber optic cable and uh, is usually recommended for surround sound. All right, and we have here a remote control. Let's get this out of the wrapper and have a quick look at it. All right, remote control. This is actually a really good looking remote control. Uh, on the remote control, we've got, oh, let's take off this plastic. Nice. So on the remote control, up the top left we've got power, on the top right we've got mute, USB, optical coax, line balancer, and Bluetooth in the top right of this quadrant, which is obviously all of your uh, input selects. In the middle we've got play and pause, volume up for the rocker, and fast forward and skip, or skip back and skip forward. Uh, monitor, dynamic, classic, and vocal. So we've even got the presets on here for different sounds. That actually is a, that's a good remote. I mean, it's plasticky. It doesn't feel like it, it, it would have been nicer if it was some sort of aluminium or alloy or something like that. Uh, but it actually feels like a good remote. In the past, Edifier remotes have been well-rounded and uh, felt kind of slippery in the hand, especially those circular ones of uh, the previous uh, edifier speakers that I have reviewed. I'll pop up a, an image of what I'm talking about just up here. Uh, those circular ones, I wasn't a big fan of those. They sort of sit in your palm and weren't real comfortable. This conventional design here of a remote control, much better. Thank you. What type of batteries? Oh, it comes with batteries too. Of course it does. We've got some AAA batteries that come with it. All right, let's uh, lift off the first layer of styrofoam. Oh, these things are big. Wow, they are a lot bigger than I thought. I don't know, am I gonna be able to pull it out with the plastic? Yep. All right, uh, I'll set this down and uh, I'll be back in a second. But I guess you know a premium speaker is that when it comes in these nice little fabric socks that when you're done, you can use it to dress up at Halloween time. Scarecrow anybody? All right, now I've got this one kind of ready about to reveal. Uh, I don't know which speaker I've got, left or right, active or passive, but we'll have a quick look now and see what they look like. I have no idea what these things look like. Ta-da! All right, 
Let's throw that sock away. Uh, which one do we have? Looks like we have the passive speaker. This thing is ginormous. These are the biggest bookshelf speakers that I've ever unboxed. And I've got to say, uh, you better have some really strong bookshelves if you actually kind of put this on a bookshelf. I guess the name sort of is just a name rather than something you would definitely do. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily want them on a shelf too big. But uh, that's a nice wood grain finish. It doesn't look like real wood, but it does look nice nevertheless. We've got this grill on the front, which looks like it's removable. Oh, not easily removable. Oh. All right, okay, so it does come off there. All right, so we've got this uh, mesh grill that, uh, that comes off, which is, I, I like having a removable one. Some of the Edifier speakers don't even come with these things and I'm not, not, real, not real keen on that because it doesn't give a lot of protection for your speakers, even from light knocks, um, which can damage the, the speaker cones. So it's good to have these. All right, let's have a look at the front of this thing. All right, now this tweeter up the top here kind of looks like a jet or like a propeller from an aeroplane. And this one here is your six and a half inch uh, driver there, which is oh, near on an inch bigger than the previous model, which means this thing's gonna give out some really big bass and good sound. Well, it should mean that anyway. All right, so that's what it looks like there with the speaker grill on it. Nice protection there, looks nice, good aesthetic. And the wood grain finish, like I said, looks nice, but I, I, I think that's a veneer, it may be wood, but I, I, I believe that's just a veneer over the top of it. Hey, look at that, well balanced. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the back of this thing. This is the, uh, the passive speaker, which means it doesn't have any of the inputs on it. It's just a power switch for turning it on and off, and the power cable gets plugged into there. That's it, so that's the left speaker for that one. All right, let's have a look at the, uh, let's grab out the active speaker. So the other one, the right-hand speaker. All right, ready to unveil the active speaker. Let's have a look. There we go. Let's throw that sock away. Identical on the front. I could have picked it before I took it out of the box. A little sticker on the front here that says high res audio, because this is high res audio certified, which means really good sound. All right, let's peel this off. I have no idea if the microphone picked that up, but if it did, what's it called? SMR or ASMR? Oh, all you people that love that sort of stuff, you're welcome. All right, so the active speaker here, same sort of design, exactly the same, because it's got to be a pair. It would be weird if they look different. Same removable grill, has an extra panel on the front there which will obviously be your infrared receiver and probably some power lights, but we'll find that out once we power it on. So essentially the, the same on the front other than those few things. Let's turn it around and have a look at the actual connections. All right, so here we have the active speaker on the rear. Well, we've got line in for our uh, left and right speaker cables there, our RCAs. We've also got the USB connection for PC connectivity an optical fiber cable there for optical audio and a coax now I've, look i've never used a coax before for music but uh, i'm sure people out there appreciate that all right continuing on the dial at the top here this one looks like the volume yes and it is okay it doesn't have a min and a max yeah okay that's a thing it pushes in too so what does that do selection uh the one below it we've got uh, treble which does have a min and a max and it also has a click for the center part now the click is appreciated for obviously it's on the back of the system you're not necessarily going to be looking at the system when adjusting it so having that little click when you get to the middle is good to as a bit of tactile feedback knowing that you've got to the center so you know where you are roughly without looking at it same below it with the uh, the treble uh, sorry the bass and we've got a click in the middle as well. All right, so that's adjustable. Uh, power switch on and off and the power connector. And in the middle here, we've got our... What is that? All right, bear with me. Bit of editing magic here. I've gotten to two connections on the back of the active speaker. I don't know what they are. 
I'm going to have a look in uh, the instructions. I'll be right back. All right, so these connections on the back here, these big massive things here are apparently what is called balanced input. So says the instruction manual anyway. I've never had experience with anything that uses those kind of connections. Uh, it indicates that CD players may plug into there. Uh, I, I've got no input on that, I don't know. I've never used those connectors before. But anyway, there you go. Uh, looks exactly the same as the previous one. So there, that, that's the unboxing of the Edifier S3000 Pro speakers. Now I'm going to go and hook these up and I'm going to listen to them for a little bit and I'm going to give you a quick impression at the, after this section now. Okay, so I've now set these things up. I've sat down and had to listen to them for a little while and uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with uh, the sound that comes out of these two speakers. Now they are quite large, so I kind of expect them to be uh, good quality sound and they, they really are. I'm really most impressed with how much bass and clarity that these speakers put out, but I feel like I'm repeating myself every single time that I review Edifier speakers. They're just good quality speakers, they really are. Now, the biggest hurdle for me, and I guess I'm an average working class person, is the price. These things go for over $1,000 Australian, and whether or not these are something that I would put in my home is, is a pretty big question. If I ignore the price point, absolutely, these speakers are amazing. I would love to have these as my daily drivers, so to speak price point is very high for a pair of speakers. Now, I don't, look, I don't want to put these speakers down because I'm sure there are some uh, audio files out there who absolutely needs to know the nitty gritty, the, the, the power outputs, the, um, the versions of software that's being used here and the latencies between the speakers. And they would probably be happy to pay the price, the premium for these two speakers. But the thing is, that's not me. That's not me, absolutely not me. I don't have a ton of money to be pouring into this thing. And the kind of money we're asking for here is, I'll probably say entry level to mid level surround sound system. Probably entry level if you've got to start from scratch with all the bits and pieces. But if it really sounds like value for you and you really like uh, bookshelf speakers, then these are probably the best of the line that you're going to get from Edifier. These things are amazing. But if you're not, then Edifier have a different range. And I've, I've reviewed a few of those ones. There'll be some links in the description to other Edifier speakers that I have reviewed that are of a different price point that still give off a really good quality sound. But these things, very high price for very high quality. I'll put the specs for those that want to know all the intricate details about the S3000 Pros in the description down below. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns about this system that won't go completely over my head, then go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. And if I can answer your question, I will. If I don't know the answer to your question, then hopefully somebody else that watches the video might. They might help you out. Otherwise, the Edifier link is on the description of this video as well. You can check that one out. Well, that's all I've got for today. So thank you very much for checking out this video. And as always, I am Lucas. And until next time, I will see ya.